Good morning, folks. This is Darth Ravage 07. Uh, coming to you today with another quick review. On the turntable today, we have none other than Armada Universe Star Scream, the Universe Legacy update of this excellent character. One of my favorite characters from Armada. Armada is not my favorite series, but uh, this looks really, really good. Good homage to the Star Saber there and the Wing Saber there. And I love the red eyes on the box art which leads me to my one complaint about the figure in robot mode there and we'll get into more of that here you got yellow eyes there 18 steps to get it to the jet mode and uh, there's the bio for Armada Star Scream if you want to take a look at that here is the barcode for those looking in stores and other markets I hope this helps you find it before we move on to what's in the box thanks again to all those who have liked, share and subscribe to my channel thank you so kindly and uh, now let's get on to what was in the box what comes in the box is these nice instructions showing you how to configure the wing saver star saver and all the steps to get him into robot mode in 18 steps i really do i've always liked this design guys and uh we'll get into that right here on the turntable Quick look at the Star Saber accessory. This side looks really great, nicely painted. It's uh, the Minicon team there. That three pack I used to have back in the day, I don't sadly have it anymore. But uh, there's that. I do got the Energon Saber somewhere in Stasis. So we may display that in a future short there. But there's that. Here is his wing saber, nicely detailed, no paint whatsoever, the pegs to do what you need to do with. It almost looks like they were going for a, a tinier, I don't know, pegs system. It barely tabs in, but uh, hollow back here on the back, really despise that. When we get a third party, it gives us a couple of other ones that will, you know, help us get that guy going on. And moving on to Armada Starscream himself, this guy is a really nice rendition of his jet mode representation. You got some nicely tampoed Decepticon symbols there on the wings. I've always loved the way this looks. It kind of reminds me of Jetfire's uh, fast pack, but it's molded in to give you the, the whole intakes there. This is the only thing that's a little bit unsightly there, that and a little bit of waffling under the wings. But for the most part, I do like the way that this transforms and locks into place for the most part. I wish it tabbed a little bit better there, but it fills up the empty space, giving it a little more whole look going around. You can do blast effects there for your jet thrusters. You got some uh, ports that you can port in the weapons as you see fit or need be. I, I probably will never port these guys in to display. <laughs> Unless I get two wing saber swords, and they used to configure right into the wing, but then there's attrition there with the wing. And the overall size of this is the other. I love this jet mode. I love the way this looks. I like the way it's put together in the paint and everything. No landing gear is a, a negative to me, but I mean, I get it at Cybertronian. He's not going to land on his belly or whatever. He's going to transform in robot mode and land kind of thing. So. I mean, it doesn't even bother me that his, this head shows right here. That's true to the original toy. And uh, the way it locks in, and it looks like he's looking out this way anyway to see where he's going. So that's kind of neat and cool. I think this is a very clean design compared to the original. And the one thing it's kind of missing, if you are a fan, is uh, the Swindle Mini kind of go there. Or there. So there it looks like a porthole. Maybe a third party could, you know, have it come and have like a clamp that could connect the swindle to it but it won't have the play features the original had like a little mesh for sounds and action and you could do the swindle back here to activate these to roll forward and you can roll those forward and do the bus specs that way and have him just strafing and knocking out every autobot target it's really really cool jet to me i really do like this i like the way this is detailed here and uh just want to go through some quick comparisons for other star screams that this was made into they managed to get the colors from g1 star scream into this mold through the paint of the cockpit the colors there and whatnot he doesn't have any dorsal fins like that one there but that's okay and that's a look you get the duality there the engines and thrusters there so there's that look 
Here's my Deluxe Class Generations 2.0 comparison with it. There again, the colors are in there, save for the, well, there's black there, but that's because of his head there. But uh, even still, this one has the landing nubs that I like better than <laughs> what I'm getting ready to show off here in a minute next. But there's the look from the back. So you got the duality of the thrusters. These are the dorsal fins, I guess, for the, anyway. It's a really, really nice representation of how they took old and put it to the new for the Armada series for 2002. And I do this again to show off the attrition that these, these are both Voyager molds, but this guy has been a victim of attrition through reduction in cost, the budget, all that stuff. I don't like it. There was more, you know, it's just bigger and crazier. I thought that when they made this, it would be, this would be as big as this, but there's that look and there again, you know, you got the star screen colors throughout whatnot, but uh, hang on, it just aggravates me that he even can't get the tampos kind of totally straight there, but there's that. Let's get this Armada star screen into his robot mode and finish this quick review. Thanks again for watching. Transform. And here is Armada Starscream on the turntable, looking awesome here, guys. I really do love the way this turned out. I love that you can angle the wings how you just see fit there. I love that they fill in the gaps here on the back. And uh, like the play function we'll get into here in a minute. The only thing I don't like about it, there again, is just like the jet mode, the waffling. Hopefully a third party will come along and fill this in using what we got here to go around and not take away the peg hole, but to give us, you know, a solid look like that. And you can see it in the light there, how the structure does of the wings. But this is a really, really fantastic looking uh, figure. And I'm really surprised by it and taken a little bit. Uh, we're gonna get this in here and look closer at that facial detail. That is probably one of the better looking Starscream heads in my opinion, and is painted with his eyes and whatnot. I may get another version just to go through and give him more of a G1 kind of look there. There's the tempograph of the symbol there on the wings, some paint detail there on the chest area and the black, it just helps make it pop. I love the blue used for the cockpit. And uh, that's what I didn't understand about any of the jet modes, but I mean, uh, Cybertronian ships don't need, you know, people in them and stuff, but anyway, that's how you know it's Starscream. And the, the amount of articulation that it's put into this, even with its shortcomings, it's, it's pretty impressive and whatnot. I love how this looks right here. Nicely done, nicely, and just can't, this makes me gush right here with the way this, this is detailed and filling in the gaps. The only gap that you get is in between the legs there and looks solid pretty much all around except for what I've already pointed out and the detail on the thrusters slash the blasters. You'll see that, like I said, here and again in a minute. Just really, really nice. Going on, go into that articulation real quick here. So we got all the way around on the ball at the head there and you get the way they did it. You can get those flying poses that you want. You can get them looking all the way up. So you get that. You can angle these wings however you need to. I love the articulation and the swivel that's in there. So that's a, a big plus as well. Uh, let me get these set back here just to kind of show off that you can go all the way around if you desire with the shoulder there on this joint here. Just be really careful. Uh, joints are tighter here than they are here in the elbow with the upper bicep swivel. There is a slide there that I want to make you aware of. Just be careful when you're handling it. Don't want to break that off of there. So I mean, you can get a little bit extra out there. You can get all the way up like this because the way the transformation does and that leads me to my downfall there. Uh, Why well, I, I view it as a downfall. Hang on one second. There we go. Get that head back down here. Is the no waist, uh, waist. no uh, wrist articulation there because they even managed to get in a waist swivel here. And if you miss transform it just like this and slide these little things back in here, you can get more of that waist swivel needed. It's still a little bit hindered by the backpack. But I mean, it's it's nice that they added that in there. And it looks like they had it in the, somewhere in the design process, they, they lost its little inception that could do like that. I still am gonna pose it like this and make it do that because it helps get more dynamic stuff. You can get 
the full van damage coming from there and you get this far up you get that far back and if you move that out of the way you can go back just a touch well you can't really go for a touch further unless you lift this whole apparatus up for the blasters to come across so boom there's where you get that there uh, upper thigh swivel definitely is in effect you get that much in the knee do the way that that does and bends and I'm good with that these used to I swear they slid in on the thrilling 30 version and that's the other one that I don't have out here but and I should, uh, it's just in stasis. There's the blasters moving forward, so that articulates. But the, whenever the blasters come up with this, they did think about doing this to, to clean up the backpack nice and neat. So that, that, this is this is really good, and it will even tab in for that much for sake. So, I mean, however you wanna do it, you can pretty much do it here with this guy, and it looks amazing. And then he's got some ankle tiltage, and that much back due to the transformation, so. Boom, baby. So you can get that, you can use that extra space there and get a more clean look there for the robot mode. Put the blasters out. And uh, I absolutely love this. This is a really, really, really awesome figure. And uh, the port's there if you decide to do that. And there's ports there if you decide to do that on the bottom. I mean, you can weaponizer him up, get him all crazy. The only thing I don't like is they omitted the uh, Minicon and the Minicon's function. I'd rather have the Minicon than to have these two pieces right here because I just, while it's paying homage to the original, I still think it's just a even weaker offering when it's hollow like that. So anyway, uh, I'll get them all weaponed up there. And there he is with the Star Saber in hand, looking just amazing there. I just like that you can get the poses that you you so desire here with this guy and he looks quite nice uh, really not like I said a huge Armada fan but he was one of the faves and favorite standout when it was a toy let me get these other robot modes in here real quick there he is with G1 Screamer Classics 2.0 Screamer or actually not 2.0 it's just Classics 2006 Screamer and the classics and classics 2.0 Starscream mold upgraded into Earthrise there on the turntable. And uh, now that it's in robot mode, this is a little bit taller where the jet motor is really squat and whatnot. Uh, so there is something to said about mass shifting. <laughs> there's the mass shifting and so on, how it transforms and what have you. But there's both of them looking good together there. Updated versions of oldies and but goodies. Let's get on in some final thoughts final thoughts on Armada universe starscream if you're a fan of that series there's a lot to like here and i absolutely love this better than i thought i originally would i can't believe all the articulation that was put in with its limitations and there was some thoughts there to how to deal with that i just wish they would have executed it better these instructions help you get it there but just a couple of times with it before you uh this is really neat how they did the kibble filling or the, the gap filling with, and not having it have more kibble and compacting into the really compact jet mode that it has. I've always been a fan of this jet mode and it looks really, really good. I think this is betterly really done. Minuses there would be the no mini con feature uh, and or they could have done more of the uh, updated version of these guys. That would have been really neat or I'm glad I didn't actually take this from the wing this time. I mean, this is still a nice touch, an homage to the original stuff, but uh, this guy just by itself rocks. So that's about gonna do it for this quick review of Armada Universe Starscream. Uh, if you're a fan, pick it up, highly recommend that way. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and thank you again to all those who have done so. Have a great week this week. We're in the holiday week. You got some more reviews coming in, so stay tuned, guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a great week, everybody. Be safe.